guys, again, um, this video I just want to do a quick kind of uh, beauty haul for you, mostly just nail polishes because um, I have an obsession with nail polish. I literally cannot go into any like drugstore like Dwayne Reed Reddit whatever without getting a nail polish. So I have a couple that I would like to show you. Um, honestly, if you saw my nail polish collection, you would probably be like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? <laughs> Um, no, I actually have more nail polish than I do makeup. So, yeah, let's just get into it. I'll show you kind of the things that I got and, yeah. So before I get into the nail polish, I'm just going to go through the couple of beauty things that I have. I got a couple of Makeup Geek shadows. So I got these three right here. Do you see this? This is what happens when Liv tries to depot. It just goes all types of wrong. So, but anyway, um, these are three Makeup Geek shadows that I got. This first one is a very pretty like deep green hunter green and it is called envy you even say that envy yeah really pretty i would probably try to do it with like maybe a lighter green on the lid and then this in my crease so i'm actually pretty impressed with the makeup geek shadows i think they're very very good quality for the price and they're i think about 5.99 on her website i will link down below where you can pick these up now my fingers are all dirty. The next one is like a bronzy gold color. And this one is called Pretentious. And very pretty. I love to use this for a brown smoky eye. This one is pretty. It's just a deep brown with some gold shimmer in it. Very pigmented as you can see. I got in the pot because it they were sold out of the um, refill pans and this one is called last dance and please excuse me okay like so it looked like it was coming out of the pot so I kind of just tried to pry it out with uh, like a little pointy object and it shattered so again my depotting just goes all types of wrong but the color looks like this I know it looks so terrible and I'm sad but I tried to put it back together I'll just swatch it. It's a very nice plum burgundy kind of color. So it looks kind of taupe here, but it is like a plummy, as you can see there. And staying along the lines of eyeshadow, I went to Sephora and I picked up one of the new Urban Decay weird compact eyeshadow things. And the only reason why I did get it was because I absolutely love Buck for my everyday eyeshadow look. Um, I just put it right in my crease and to say I've hit pan would be an understatement. <laughs> so I'm just trying to use that up before I use the new one. But I did pick it up and just the compact looks like this. So it just kind of pops out like that. And then I guess you would place that into the Urban Decay thing. I went to Nordstrom Rack just to kind of check out their makeup section. Because they kind of have um, brands like Too Faced and Urban Decay and things like that on sale. So I did pick up this electric 24-7 glide on pencil travel set and it's a set of five and on the website originally this is $32 but right now on the Urban Decay website it's on sale for $19 and I picked this up for $18.97 so I mean three cents cheaper doesn't really make a big deal this one has perversion in it which is the uh, apparently like the blackest of black eyeliner and I've used this a couple of times but I just put it back in so it's so smooth and you can see how pigmented and how dark that is. The next one I was so completely excited about just because I have gotten into purple a lot more because of the Sugar Pill Poison Plum shadow that has made me actually like the color purple. When I saw this online which is the purple glide on pencil in a ransom I was like yes need it and then I saw it in the travel set and I was like amazing so yeah that's gorgeous and they are so smooth i love the feel of these pencils so the one after that is a kind of hot pink magenta called woodstock and it looks like that and i haven't used all of these i've only used perversion and the blue one that i'm going to show you next so This one I actually use, I don't know if you can see in my waterline for this look, and it is called Radium. 
and it also goes on so smooth as you can see that it's so pretty so metallic it's called junkie and it's kind of like a hunter deep green yeah as you can see that is gorgeous wow I didn't swatch any of these before you know today I've only used the two the blue and the black so I'm really impressed with that that one's actually really pretty so again here is perversion ransom woodstock radium and junkie so pretty so um I really really like those so I'm glad that I picked that up and I'll go right into lip products I got two MAC lipsticks one is rebel and that one looks like this it's like a deep maroon purple I want to say I have wanted this one for a long time and then I just finally just picked it up when that new kind of collection came out with like Saint Germain and uh, Russian red and you know things like that so I just picked that up and the second one is this bright color here great for spring and summer this one is called impassion it's not new or anything but i just picked it up i liked how it looked on me in the store it hasn't looked the same though so i don't know maybe it's their lights in the store i do like it i'll make it work so yeah those are that for the uh, lip products that i bought to the polish um i just painted my nails today and I will show you, I'm using polishes that are in this video, so I will show you that. Finally, I have found Jessie's Girl and Julie G's nail polish collection at my local Rite Aid. So I picked up a couple of those that will be in this video. The first color I'm wearing on my nails today. Let's see if you can see that. And it's this polish here called Julie's Fave. And I guess her favorite color is like a coral. And this is like a more so pinky light pinky coral and I actually really really love this color I've been looking for a coral nail polish and I ordered an Essie one which I have on my toes it looks different in the light most times it looks kind of orange in the light and this one actually looks pink more so pink all the time so I definitely prefer this coral over the one I have on my toes so, um I actually have two of these and I didn't realize that I bought two but you know I really like this color so I'm glad that I have two float so I have another one when it runs out. I have this one right here and this one is a very bright magenta purple color and I love it. It's awesome. Um, this one is called Fierce and Fab. When I bought this and I brought it home and I used it, it reminded me of another polish that I have and when I picked it up it's kind of basically the same thing and that one is the Sinful Colors nail polish and this one is called dream on and the only thing I will say is that the sinful color ones is a little bit more pink than the Julie G polish so what I did just to kind of compare them is I put this one on my nails first and I put this one on as a second coat and it didn't I couldn't really see a difference the only thing is this is a little 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 bit more purple so yeah if you cannot find this one you can look for this and same if you want to find this one and you can't and you have access to this one definitely get this one because they're basically the same they are both matte formula so um i didn't even remember that this was matte until i put it on first and it just dried down to a matte finish and so is this these are i would say close dupes for each other and for another one that i have a dupe for this is julie g's color in kicking it it's a gorgeous um blue with teal in it so pretty and it reminds me of my favorite sinful colors nail polish which is called love nails and i think i've worn this in a video before and it's just they're basically the exact same so yeah these are basically the exact same polish so again if you can't find this one and you want it but you have access to this one you get this one vice versa they're the same I love them both. Amazing. And for the latest and last Julie G product that I picked up, it's another kind of blue and teal, except this one has more of a gold and teal glitter in it. And this one is called Mermaid's Tail, and it's kind of a deep teal on the nails, and it's it's so pretty. Let me see if I can if you can tell on the brush. So so pretty it's great for any regular glitter polish looks great as an accent nail looks great just by itself so yeah that is the last julie g color that i have i have a couple of more and i did show those in my imats haul so 
if you haven't seen those then you can go back a couple of videos to my eye haul and check those out one thing i will say about the julie g polishes i find with a bunch of them well the ones that i have is they're kind of really thick and they get kind of clumpy really fast so you kind of have to work quickly with them and if you're in a Hi, um, a ventilated area where it's like there's kind of a breeze going on they will dry really quickly so definitely work fast or try to go somewhere where it's not very windy at all like I just had my basic fan on and it's on the lowest setting and I found that I had to keep dipping my brush into the bottle just to get more color just because it was drying and getting a little bit clumpy so I don't know maybe if you can try to get maybe a nail polish thinner and that might help the formula a little bit I recently picked this color up about maybe two days ago and this one is an OPI color and I just absolutely love it. It caught my eye and I was like, oh, definitely have to buy it. The sticker came off but it's called It's My Year. So if you can find this at your drugstore or, you know, wherever they sell OPI near you or online, if you can find it, definitely get it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, it looks kind of on your nails. It looks a little bit holographic and it also reminds me of tracks eyeshadow by mac it's kind of like a plum with gold glitter in it and it's just so pretty definitely love this one um, i do not have any other opi colors i do have like the black shatter and the blue shatter but and that's all i have from opi and so this one is the start of my opi obsession and i love this color and for the last um, polishes that I have to show you, I recently signed up to be a julep maven, so I got my starter box, and it was only a penny. I had a coupon code, one that I had someone gave to me, and I got it for a penny. Basically, it's one of those subscription websites where you sign up and you can get some of their boxes per month. So some have like hand creams, hand exfoliators, and then two colors. This one, I got three colors, and it was my starter box, and... I will put the link down below where you guys can sign up. I've been having trouble logging in, so I'm not really sure um, what's going on. When I tried to call them to talk about my login issue, they said that they were experiencing high volume, so I don't know if it's something that's been happening because I'm not able to log in at all. And um, the only way I was able to order these was logging in through my Facebook, so I had to connect my Facebook to the Julep website, and now that option isn't there anymore, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that, so hopefully I can get that figured out before they send out the preview to the next box, and then I can't go and see if I want to order it or not, and I wouldn't have the option to cancel it or to skip this month, so definitely got to get that fixed before, you know, they start sending out the previews for the next box because I don't want to be charged for something that I don't want. Overall, I will say that I think it's a cool... Um, subscription website and I saw someone do a video about her box and that is Abby so I want to say hi Abby and so yeah the three that I got in this box were actually the same that she got and this first color is called Ma my stickers rubbed off but I'm pretty sure this one's called Mandy and it's this creamy coral color and it's actually I want to say like a dupe for the Essie Coral Reef that I was talking about earlier that I do have on my toes because it looks basically the same and when I had it on my fingers it pretty much looked like what my toes look like now. So the next color is this kind of creamy light blue color like a powder blue. Yeah so it's this very light powder blue color and this one is called Jessica and I have that on this accent nail as you can see and then I have it as the diagonal tip on my other accent now and that's very nice very nice if you want just you know a slight wash of color but not any neutral color it looks very pretty and the last one is called Brooke and it's the shimmery purple and it's really it looks really pretty in the bottle but it's very very sheer I know the card that came with the box recommended for a modern look, whatever that means. You can put it over another shade. I haven't tried that yet, and I haven't tried this one yet. Definitely looking forward to this. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys soon.